Dear students, welcome to my channel, Dr. V. R. Pudili's MBA, BBA and Economics Lessons. I am doing a series of videos on concepts of national income. In this video, I am dealing with GNP, NDP, NNP and per capita income. Concepts of national income. GNP, NDP, NNP and per capita income. Gross national product, shortly known as GNP. GNP is the total measure of the flow of goods and services at market value resulting from current production during a year in a country, including net income from abroad. GNP includes four types of final goods and services, namely 1. Consumers goods and services to satisfy the immediate wants of the people. 2. Gross private domestic investment in capital goods consisting of fixed capital formation, residential construction and inventories of finished goods and unfinished goods. 3. Goods and services produced by the government. 4. Net exports of goods and services that is the difference between value of exports and imports. The relationship between GDP and GNP. GNP is equal to GDP plus or minus net income from abroad. We have to keep some key points in mind in calculating GNP. One. GNP is the measure of money in which all kinds of goods and services produced in a country during one year are measured in terms of money. 2. In estimating GNP of the economy, the market price of only the final products should be taken into account. 3. Goods and services rendered free of charge are not included in the GNP. 4. The transactions which do not arise from the produce of current year are not included in the GNP. 5. The payments received under Social Security, for example, unemployment insurance allowance, old age pension and interest on public loans are also not included in GNP. 6. The profits and or losses incurred on account of changes in capital assets as a result of fluctuations in market prices are not included in the GNP. 7. The income and through Illegal activities is not included in the GNP. Dear students, let us also learn about GNP at market prices and GNP at factor costs. GNP at market prices. When we multiply the total output produced in one year by their market prices prevalent during that year in a country, we get the gross national product at market prices. Therefore, GNP at market prices is equal to GDP at market prices plus net income from abroad. GNP at factor cost. GNP at factor cost is the sum of the money value of the income produced by an accruing to the various factors of production 
in one year in a country. Therefore, GNP at factor cost is equal to GNP at market prices minus indirect taxes plus subsidies. Dear students, we come across the concept of net domestic product shortly known as NDP while learning about methods of measuring national income. Let us understand the concept of net domestic product shortly known as NDP. NDP is equal to GDP minus depreciation. Net national product shortly known as NNP. NNP includes the value of total output of consumption goods and investment goods. NNP is equal to GNP minus depreciation. In the process of production, some fixed equipment wears out, some of its components are damaged and some others become obsolete. All this process is termed depreciation and corresponding amount is deducted from GNP at market prices to get NNP. NNP at market prices. Net national product at market prices is the net value of final goods and services evaluated at market prices in the course of one year in a country. NNP at market prices is equal to GNP at market prices minus depreciation. NNP at factor cost. Net national product at factor cost is the net output evaluated at factor prices. NNP at factor cost is equal to NNP at market prices minus indirect taxes plus subsidies. Dear students, let us know about the relationship between national income and NNP. Dear students, NNP at factor cost is called national income. We can understand the relationship between national income and NNP in the equations given here. NNP at factor cost is equal to NNP at market prices minus indirect taxes plus subsidies. That is equal to GNP at market prices minus depreciation minus indirect taxes plus subsidies, which is equivalent to national income. In other words, NNP at factor cost in any country is called as national income. Per capita income, the average income of the people of a country in a particular year is called per capita income for the year. We can get per capita income by dividing national income in a year with the population of the country. Let us define per capita income for 2020. Per capita income for 2020 is equal to national income for 2020 divided by population in 2020. Dear students, in this video, we had learned about concepts of national income including GNP, NDP, NNP and per capita income. Thank you.